Okay, so Darius said he was feeling good. He decided to take a little, you know, have a little night out on the town. Go get some good food, some good drinks, you know, and hopefully have some good eats. And he said, let me go ahead and do some content while I was at it. He said a new restaurant was open called Late August. And he said upon reviewing it, it looked amazing. Stuff on the menu looked like it had awesome potential, like great potential. But baby, he made a reservation and he gets there and he puts this on his social media. Y'all can pause to read. So y'all already know we are in for a show. Now I'm going to insert some clips of his food that he's shown. This is the review after he um, left the restaurant. He lets us know his full thoughts. I think this is the next day, actually. Let's get into it. You some grease, won't we? Okay, so yesterday I went to this restaurant. That's the last live I did. That's the last live y'all seen from, from last night, at least on this page. I went to a restaurant. I was so excited to try it. I'm always looking for like American style, really beautiful American style restaurants that have like stories and creativity. And so I was on the sites last night or yesterday afternoon looking for a place. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to dinner tonight. Let me take the camera. Let's just go someplace new and have a good time, right? So I decided to go to a restaurant called Late August. Yes, I recognize that it is late August and I decided to go to a restaurant called Late August. Maybe we should have waited until September. It should have been called Late Winter because clearly they were not ready for Late August at all. And when I say at all, I mean they were not ready at all. It was a complete and utter, as, as we would say in corporate America, a shit show. It was bad. I've already been to Zanzibar. That review is already posted on uh, my YouTube channel. So thank you so much for suggesting places for me to go that I've already been to. And Zanzibar wasn't good when I went the first time. And you know Zanzibar is not going to be good a second time around. Hi, Cleveland. How are you? Thank you. Now, I have personally been to Zanzibar. I went to visit a friend of mine a couple of years ago. I was trying to find my photos, but I can't find them. And I remember going and I remember enjoying them. And something that stood out to me was the fish that I had. I think it was fried catfish. And I remember absolutely being in love with the catfish. Um, I feel like I didn't too much care for the yams because something was in it that I wasn't accustomed to. They were not nasty. They were enjoyable. I feel like I ate everything and took the rest home and finished it. Um, and I remember they had like these Kool-Aid drinks that came in these cute little pictures. And I remember saving my picture to take home for me. So everybody palate is different. I don't know what Darius's palate is, but I remember enjoying the atmosphere and everything. So if you are in Cleveland or planning to go to Cleveland, stop by Zanzibar because I enjoyed the customer service the food and the ambiance and let me know what you think yeah so i went last night and it was bad it was bad first of all i will give i have to give them props this menu this menu that they have baby this menu sounds it's creative it's so creative that i decided to take one of their i'm not doing it the exact same way but I've drawn some inspiration from their, from their stuff. Like I've drawn some inspiration. It's that good, right? And so, and so uh, it's like a, this is what I would describe it. If a black person, and when I say black, I mean, you know, black celebration, you know, if a black African American married a, a full blooded Mexican, what you would be eating at Thanksgiving dinner is what this rep, what this this restaurant menu represents, right? So like, so let me give you an example. So like, they have this one dish that had it's like tostones on the bottom, right? But the masa for the tostones, well, I guess it's not really tostones, and if it's made out of masa, right? But I don't know. It's like a, whatever, a, the, the glorified tamale, if you will, right? So the masa had like field greens, turnip, mustard, collard, whatever, mixed into the actual masa. Typically you put refried beans on top of the masa. They did refried field peas or re refried black eyed peas on top of the masa. They topped that with some sort of like pulled pork, but the pulled pork was done almost in like a cochinita style, if you will. And then they topped it with a piri piri sauce. 
sounds outstanding, right? Sounds like this should be really, really tasty. That's what it sounds like. Girl. Girl, that shit was an absolute catastrophe. Do you understand me? Girl, that shit was so bad. It don't make no sense whatsoever. I was like, what is this? What are y'all doing? And why are you doing it like this? It was, y'all, it was so bad. I was like, I don't want to eat this. Then they had, then they had this fried chicken with the potato salad. And you would think, okay, this, this ain't going to be too bad. Girl, you make better fried chicken at your house. Girl, you make much better fried chicken for down to your house. I was like, what is this? Why are we eating this? And why are we eating it like this? I don't like this at all. It was given very, very not demure. Is what it was given, okay? <laughs> very not demure. And you could just tell that it was like, they were like trying to figure it all out and the service was bad. Nobody, the hospitality was bad. The food coming out of the kitchen was bad. It was a bad night in general. It was like a really bad night for them. And the crazy thing is, okay, so people go, well, did it just open? And you go, it did just open, right? However, the owner of the place happens to be a, he happens to be a, he's a veteran in the industry, right? He's not new to doing any of this work. He actually owns another restaurant called Lucille's. His name is Chris Williams. And he owns a restaurant called Lucille's, which has been in existence for a while, right? So you go, okay, Chris, you're not new to this. And the place aesthetically gorgeous. And when I say aesthetically gorgeous, I mean the place is absolutely beautiful, okay? The place is like beyond. Let me get some on y'all. The place is like absolutely unequivocally Gorgeous. I mean, it really is. And to see, to see how bad it was yesterday, I was just like, oh my God. Like, I, he needs to be here. <laughs> is he in the building? Where is he? The food was so bad, y'all. That food was bad. I'm not, I'm not even exact. When I tell you it was bad, I want you to hear me when I tell you it was bad. Like, hard, some of the stuff was like hardly even edible. Some of that stuff was like hardly even, it was like hardly even edible. I'm just like, what are we doing here? Like, what is going on? What is going on that we serving food like this? And then, oh, they had this one salad, right? It was a, uh, it was a cute concept. It was like a Texas Caesar salad situation. Cute concept, right? Baby Jim lettuce, uh, croutons. This is what the menu said. Baby Jim lettuce, spicy. Caesar, something crouton, something or other, avocado. Girl, she had one chunk of avocado smaller than this shrimp. It was one cherry tomato, y'all. One. One cherry tomato. You mean to tell me you want me to pay you $17 for eight leaves of lettuce, one cherry tomato, one cube of avocado, and some half-cocked Caesar dressing. I don't know who the fool, who the bigger fool, them for selling it or me for ordering it. Because I sure said, sir, take this off my check. I'm not paying for this. Sir, take this off. I'm not paying for this. Sorry, I'm not paying for this. Not for no damn, come on y'all. Are you serious? Are you serious? I'm not paying for this. I'm just not, I'm sorry, I'm not. I'm not the fuck gonna pay. I don't care how much money it costs. Melon, clover, orange, cinnamon, peach. Well, how do you know which one is peach? You don't, actually. All right, so we're gonna take a, a gamble here. You would think peach would be peach, but we'll take a gamble on whatever honey sticks these are. That smells amazing. What is that? What would you, if you had to guess what you thought, if you had to guess, just, just appease me for one second. If you had to guess what you think this is, if you just had to, somebody put a gun in your head and they say, if you don't tell me what this is, I'm going to shoot you and kill you right now. What would your first guess be? What would your first guess be? Either you tell me what this is or I'm going to shoot you and kill you. This, it's not that hard. Yeah, this isn't that difficult. This isn't, this is not rocket science, baby, at all. This is not that hard. Okay, see how easy that was? You see, they have these things. I know it's a lot of, it's difficult sometimes. It's called 
the clues, right? And I know sometimes clues aren't always easy, but they have these things called context clues, which means that if you just look at the peripheral of what's going on, not directly in the middle, right? But just look around the circumference, the precipice of what's happening, and then you use that to make an informed decision. Typically, nine times out of 10, if you apply logic and common sense to that, you'll get your answer. T, LOL, but what is coming out of the straw? Oh, what do people normally add to tea that has the same consistency as what you just saw me put in the tea, right? Let's just do a little deductive reasoning here. Typically, people drink tea. Tea is sometimes bitter by itself, so the American palate likes to sweeten it. What do you think I just added to my tea? Gotcha. All right. This ain't that hard. This ain't that hard. This ain't even that hard. Is it? Nah, this ain't that hard. This ain't even that hard. This easy. This easy work. This light work. Now, we do have stuff that's hard. But this, you should be able to handle this with no problem. Nah, you should be able to handle this one with no problem. And you might be a parent raising a kid. Girl, this one you can handle. Okay? You, you can handle this one. Yeah, this easy. I'm going to forgive you. I'm going to forgive you. I'm going to forgive you. Yeah, this is yeah, this easy putting. This ain't even that hard, baby. There are there are some things that are difficult, but this ain't even that hard. No, but anyway, y'all. So, I wonder, like, is was he... He needs to, like, go to his restaurant and, like, sit there or something because... You, the what I had last night, man, it was so bad. I almost wanted to get up and help them clean the restaurant. Like, I wanted to help them clear the tables. I wanted to help them, okay? I wanted to help them. That's how bad it was. The place was just, it was bad. Like, there's nothing good about it. The food was bad. The service was bad. The food was bad. The service was bad. But the concept is great. The concept is amazing. Like, I love the idea of what the place could be. And it's black owned. I didn't know the black excellence factor. I love that. But it just was not good. It just wasn't. There's, you, there's nothing good about that place. 